Hey, good morning, everybody. John Dietz, team leader, Keller Williams Realty, Coral Springs. Thank you for joining me on my walk and talk video blog. I appreciate you, and let's get started. So every day I wake up at 5 a.m., I spend the first hour to two hours of every day preparing for my 8.30 coaching call and my 9.30 coaching call on Zoom. And if you'd like to be added to that call, by the way, just drop your email below and I'll be glad to add you to that call. And I just wanna share an exercise that I did this morning, and I kinda of want you to go through this with me. Um, before I do that though, I wanna talk about the current market and what my thoughts are in reference to what's going to happen. So one of the difference between this market and the market we had in 2008 is the recession, or the Great Recession, was caused largely due to the housing market of the bubble burst, right? And values dropped over the next four years. Now, what I think is different about this is this is not a housing market or this is not a housing crisis. This is a health crisis. It's a health crisis, though, that will more than likely lead to an economic crisis. In other words, will this cause a shift in the real estate market? Well, yeah, it will. It already has. And I want you to do an exercise with me. And let's just call it a what if exercise. I want you to take a piece of paper and divide it in three columns. In the far left column, I want you to take your 2019 volume and divide it by 12. In other words, determine what your monthly closed volume was. And I'm going to talk to a mega agent right now. If you did 48 million in 2019, big, big numbers, congratulations. That means you averaged about $4 million a month or exactly $4 million a month. Cool. So use that number. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take your monthly volume times six. In other words, let's figure out how much money you made over a six month period. So take your volume times whatever the percentage of commission you averaged, uh, the total commission earned, minus your cost of sales. Uh, that's the money you're paying to your broker. And if you have a team, which more than likely you do at $48 million, it's the money that you're paying to your buyer agents and listing specialists. I also want you to subtract your cost, your expenses, and make a list of everything that you spend money on. I'll do this on a separate sheet of paper and don't leave anything off. Again, if you have a team, give that list to your administrative uh, assistant, your lead admin assistant, and ask them to check your list because more than likely they know of expenses that you're not thinking about. So make a list. And you're gonna divide that list in half because that's your expenses for six months. Subtract that from your gross commission income. All right, so what you're left with is net income. Cool. Now, in the second column, I want you to take the total volume that you put in column number one and I want you to divide it in half. I want you to take half of what you put into column one and put it in column two. So to the same individual who did $48 million, you wrote 24 million in column one, now it's 12 million. And same exercise, subtract your cost of sales, the money you give to your broker, the money that's going to your buyer agents and listing specialists and all of your expenses. And I don't want you to change any of your expenses. Keep them where they're at. And look at the difference in your net from column one to column two. Now in column three, I want you to put down the same dollar amount for volume, $24 million. And in cost of sales, rather than writing down the number, the cost of sales that you did in column two, the money that's going to your broker, if you're at Keller Williams, that's capped at $23,000 a year. So your cost of sales is 23,000 plus whatever money you paid to your buyer agents and listing specialists. 
Now. Time, 40 minutes. Distance, 2.46 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 15 seconds per mile. Now, in your expenses, I want you to go back to that sheet of paper where you wrote down all of your expenses. And I want you to divide that into three columns. First column is have to have. Absolutely necessary to run my business. Second column uh, is a list of everything that you like, but if your back was up against the wall, you could live without these things. And then the third column, these are just things that you have because you're successful. You're doing a lot of business and who cares, right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to eliminate everything in the second column and everything in the third column. So now your expenses are just the things that you have to have in order to run your business. In other words, you're making budget cuts to get lean in order to prepare for what if. Remember the name of this exercise is the what if exercise. And you're, I'm preparing you to be profitable in leaner times just in case. So now in the third column, you've eliminated a lot of your expenses. So that number is less than it was in column two and column one. And your cost of sales is less if you're already not with Keller Williams. If you are with Keller Williams, it's the same because you have cost of sales that's capped to the company and then your cost of sales to your buyer agents and your listing specialists. And look at the difference between column two and column three. If you're making more money in column three, and you wanna know how to do that, or you have questions on how to do a tech audit in order to determine what technology you need at what cost in order to be successful, how I might be able to help you take your tech spend from $2,000 a month to $25 a month and actually generate better results. If you wanna know how you can eliminate expenses in order to make more money, or if you wanna do an organizational audit and look at your, your business in order to make sure you have the right people in the right seats, in order to make sure that you're running your team effectively, reach out to me, John Dietz at kw.com, John Diet with a Z at kw.com, or call me, text me, 727-686-0404, and hold on, get the sun out of your eyes, you. You, you, you. Make it a great day.